Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video guys to any of you having a BMW X5 and you try to test your camshaft position sensor. That procedure will apply to six eight-cylinder gasoline and diesel engines and we will explain guys what to look for. Now, before we start, why to buy a new sensor if yours is good guys? And we will show you how to do that. All the tools and parts that we'll be using or if you need to buy a new sensor you can check out the link in the description of the video below we share it for your convenience guys and you can see where we get all our tools and parts from N uh, number two guys every single car that we get at the shop we are making at least 200 free repair videos why we do that because our mission in the shop here guys is to save you as much money as we can all we need in return please subscribe to the channel and like the video that way we can keep providing this free information to you and uh, let me tell you guys, we're making this video because many of you requested in the comment section below because there is limited information on BMW X5. But many of you don't know that, and I don't blame you, it will apply to most BMW engines, and we will explain why. So, let me show you what we have here now. Specifically, this is a N52 engine that can be found on BMW uh, X5, 3 Series, 5 Series, X1, 1 Series even here, BMW in the United States. So, this is guys the sensor. But before we start, okay, let me just tell you guys one thing quick. That channel right here, Auto Repair guys, this is our main channel. We have helped more than 75 million people. Check it out, we have information that can save you guys thousands of dollars on car repair. So definitely guys, very helpful information. Now, we have the alligator, okay, we have the voltmeter here, set at 20 volts. We have alligator clips connected to the white clip connected to the black lead green clip connected to the positive red uh, red lead guys now if you guys okay we, in our case we have two camshaft position sensors one on the intake one on the exhaust the procedure will be exactly the same for both of them but if you have those wires exactly the same wires i'm talking about uh, in our case yellow wire black with white and orange wire the procedure will be super easy for you because the yellow wire is a signal wire that comes from the engine computer uh, black wire is a ground wire and orange wire is ignition switch wire that you get 12 volts on this wire If you don't know which one is which guys you can simply test them Usually the middle one will be a ground wire or it will be a little bit thinner than the other ones And that being said guys, okay You need to place your black lead Okay on the ground wire go ahead turn the ignition switch on on your car That means that the lights will be on but the engine will not be starting you know, like all, the, all your dash lights will come on. That's uh, the ignition switch on being to the second position. And you're going to test the voltage from the black wire to the other two wires. One of them will be a 12 volt, one of them will be a 5 volt signal wire. Find the one that's a 5 volt wire. In our case, it's the yellow one. And we actually cut them open a little bit because we'll need to test them. But there is a special device that you can clamp and that way you don't even need to cut them open. But we're going to connect the black lead of the voltmeter, which is connected to the white alligator clip, to this ground wire. Then the positive wire from the voltmeter we're going to connect to this green alligator clip. And with the ignition switch being on, we get 5 volts, guys. 5 volts right on the spot. Now, the two wires, don't touch them together because if you do, you can cause damage to the fuses, engine, computer, guys, wiring harness. If you guys approach that sensor with a metal tool, you should get, okay, voltage of 0 volts. Check it out now. Let's go again. 5. Approach with metal socket, 0. 5, 0, 5, 0. So, check it out. That's how we know if the sensor is working on or not. If it's stuck at only one position, most likely it's not working, guys. You get the idea what needs to be done to test it. It needs to alternate between 5 and 0. That's how it reads on and off. So, hopefully, guys, the video will be helpful. Thank you for any of you uh, uh, watching us. Uh, hopefully, it will save you some money. Thank you for watching us. See you guys next time.